So I've got one that I kind of pulled out of the archives and I've been reworking and it, uh, that I, don't, I never know if that's a good idea or not, so I'm going to try it out on you. It's called uh, Your Still Garden. I could walk in your still garden, broken bottles, scattered thoughts and peonies, swallows bending branches laden with the promise of fruit. On every worn bench, just pretending a little bit, leaves accepting wind's gift of death. I could walk glass under my boot and sit upon cracked stone, the endless rattle of always dying grass stirring other occupants, echoes of sweet dreams, good night myths, and you. Yes, on that bench right there, path encircled, many have walked and not sat, but all gone home. How strange that no one can sing here. Yes, you are your own kingdom and you ransack life. This is not Coleridge to me, no. It is this still garden, not of breathing, but of empty air. And then I have this one. It's, uh, I guess, a little influenced by the Anne Saxton, so it's, it's called Sax. <laughs> There is no mystery to the perfect fuck. It is as individual as the stars, the same as the snow. Each person undulates and jerks to his own rhythm, to his own song. He seeks she who completes his symphony. He seeks she who will add spice to the dance. Love, if it should intervene, is another instrument gliding beneath the ululations. Tongue to tongue, they chase each other's madness in circles. They chase the exquisite. They end crumpled on a futon in someone else's house, hiding stains. They end in a fairy tale of horses and pumpkins. No matter how they end, they start the same. Straining and sweating on the shameless earth, eyes lifted past the cornstalks to the constellations. Submission to freedom for a moment, and freedom to submit with time. 